What's up, YouTube? See Oh, no luck here. Today we have a massive video for you guys, but first I want to ask you to check out the channel, subscribe for more insane Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, and please give this a thumbs up if you guys enjoy the content. So today's video is kind of interesting because I didn't really realize that Konami made this giant pack for Karibo until recently. This thing is absolutely incredible. And uh, I guess it's an advent calendar type product, but still, it's like a massive Karibo pack. So let's pop it open, check it out. But first, shout out to the link at the top of the description below. Bam! New Adam Antipater playmat and Eureka playmat. Uh, check them out, you guys. These things are absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, and for a limited time only. Okay, guys. Let's check it out. The Karibo pack. The giant Karibo pack. I'm actually pretty excited for this. I want to make a Karibo deck using the cards inside here. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Um, not sure if every Karibo pack has, I know, I think they all have the same cards, but I'm not sure if they change days, um, for the advent calendar, so that would be interesting. Okay, here we go. So, looks like it flips sides, that's interesting. So we'll start with the little wing, wing Karibo side here. So you just flip it up. First card is Multiply. There we go. Try to face up Karibo, special some as many Karibo tokens as possible. Hopefully there's some... Karibo tokens inside. Next we have Kariba. Nice. A little girl version of Karibo, kind of. I'm actually not sure what all these effects do, but it might take us some time. I mean, it is the Karibo pack. This is Transcendent Wings. Send one face up or face down. Wing Karibo monster control to two cards from your hand of the grave, especially on the Wing Karibo level, level 10 from your hand of death. Cool. cool. Sphere Karibo, we know this one. That one's pretty sweet. Uh, Dual Link's power card for a while. And then uh, even in Speed Duels, it's pretty good. Cards and attacks, send this card from the hand to go. Change the attacking monster to defense. And then you can use it as Ritual Fodder. Very cool. Sphere Karibo. I wonder if Wing Karibo's on the Wing Karibo side. Hey, Flute of Summoning Karibo. This is probably one of the more valuable cards in the set here. Um, Take a Karibo or Wing Karibo monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. Whoa. So you take it first and then you add it or special summon. That's cool. That's very pretty. Ultra rare first edition Wing Flute of Summoning Karibo. And oh, there he is. Wing Karibo level 10. That is pretty. These cards are actually very pretty. Super rare first editions. And then there's ultra rares inside as well. I didn't realize there was two rarities. So it can't be summoned or, set, sir, summoned or set. Must be summoned with transcendent wings, but we just read during your opponent's battle phase. Quick fact, trip this card, destroy as many attack position monsters your opponent controls as possible and inflict damage to your opponent equal to the combined attack. Wow, that's crazy. Thank you, level 10. Oh, another ultra rare, Curry Bandit. This guy's been reprinted a few times now though. But interesting to see him as an ultra rare. Nice. Okay. Next we have Junk Karibo. I've never seen, never seen this card before. That's crazy. When your opponent activates a card or effect that would inflict damage to you, quick effect, send this card from your hand or field to the grave and get the activation and destroy that card. Wow. When inflict damage to you, card or effect. That seems kind of good. Junk Karibo. So it looks like all the protagonists get a Karibo. Is that what's going on? Yep, perform pal Karibo. There's another protagonist Karibo. This one's uh, declares a direct attack. Special ones come from hand. If you do, change the attack to this monster, and then you take no battle damage and gain life points instead. Ultra rare. So we got Yusei, uh, Yuma Yua, Yuya. Clear Karibo. What is happening with the eye? I guess it's cut in half, kind of. Uh, when your opponent activates an effect that would inflict damage. This card's going to get the effect. Then I just cover the grave to draw a card. If it's a monster, special summon it. Hmm. Pretty bad. All right. Next we have Detonate. This is interesting. Uh, destroy as many Karibo and Karibo tokens you control as possible. Then destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number. So that works with your Multiply. I mean, we can make a pretty sweet Karibo deck. This could be like all foil Karibo deck, guys. That's pretty cool. And next we have Curry Volt. So Wing Kribo was not on the Wing Kribo side. Interesting, Konami. You can target one Xyz monster that 
has material. Detach one from it, and if you do, special summon one Curry Vault from your deck. Whoa. That's cool. All right, so that's kind of the Xyz one. So put that one over there with all the junk Curry Vault. And now let's check out the other side. So here's the Performing Pal Karibo. Hey, Link Karibo. That's gonna be our Vrains Karibo. Very nice. Uh, pretty good because of the whole level one monster uh, single arrow. So that is an ultra rare though. Very nice. I'm sorry, Rika. Okay. Next we have Berserker Crush. I have no idea what this does. Banish one monster from your grave, then target a wing Karibo monster you control. That targets attack and defense become equal to the attack and defense of the monster that was banished. Okay. Until the end of the turn. Relink Karibo. This card is tributed. Draw one card. Okay. If your monster would be destroyed by battle, you can banish this card from your grave instead. Interesting. Relink Karibo. And next we have a Philosopher's Stone card, which I guess has something to do with the Karibo. If you have Wing Karibo in your grave, pay half your life points to add Polymerization Spell or Fusion Spell from your deck. Wow. You can banish three copies of this card from your grave to target one monster in the field that gains attack equal to the attack of the monster with the highest on the field. Interesting card. A lot of requirements going on. Hey, Karibo token. That's cool. That's probably holding some value. I mean, honestly, all these cards probably have pretty decent value. Pretty. And with, uh, with her behind, that looks pretty good. All right. Next we have, there he is, Winged Karibo. And I'm not sure, I think this art has been printed before, but it is the same as the one in the box there. The massive Karibo pack. The giant Karibo pack, very cool. And if you guys seriously don't know what Winged Karibo does, if this card on the field is destroyed and sent to the grave, for the rest of the turn, you take no battle damage. I didn't know it had to be destroyed, that's new. Hold on, okay. Winged Karibo Ultra Rare. Okay, so do we get one more Ultra Rare? Let's find out. We'll save one for last. Curry Photon, a little Photon Karibo. Right there. And then we have Rainbow Karibo. I have no idea. I think this is Secret Rare from a set. Uh, you can only use each effect once per turn. When a monster, when an opponent's monster declares attack, target that attacking monster and equip this card from that, uh, from your hand to that monster. It cannot attack, okay. When a opponent's monster declares a direct attack while this card's in your grave, special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Seems good. I think some of these Kuribos would have actually been good back in the day. Uh, Curry Born. I don't know if this... Was this card printed before this? At the end of the battle phase, you can discard this card, then target one monster in your grave that was destroyed by battle and sent there this turn. Special Summon. Cool. Once monster players attack, you banish the card from the grave, and then target any number of Kuribo monsters in your grave and special summon them. So this is definitely like Kuribo deck card. Cool. I like that. And even Link Kribo, you know, works with level one, so works with the other Kribos. Hey, ultra rare one for one. This might actually be the highest valued version of this card. Send one monster from your hand to the grave, and then special summon a level one monster from your hand or deck. Holy crap, this is, yeah. I think this might actually be the valid, most valuable version. First edition ultra. So there we go. Set that right there. One for one. And then a Wing Kribo level 9. So there's a level 9 and a level 10. I feel like they're going to make more eventually. Uh, activate only as chain link 3 or higher quick effect. You can special summon this card from your hand. Spell cards that have been activated are banished instead of being sent to the grave. The attack and defense of this card are each equal to the number of spells in your opponent's graveyard times 500. Huh. Interesting card. Well, Wing Kribo. And last but not least, number one is all regular Karibo. Who would have thought? Number one. That's pretty cool. Look at that with all of his massive army of Karibos back there. That's crazy. Regular Karibo. During damage, Cal, if your opponent's monster attacks, quick fight, discard this card. You take no battle damage from that battle. Sweet. Look at that. Karibo army, you guys. That is pretty sweet. And that is the massive, or sorry, giant Karibo pack that Konami made. That is pretty cool. I've never actually opened this before. Um, that's pretty cool. We may have some of those on simpleandlucky.com. You guys check them out if you guys get a chance. Or maybe just a Karibo deck. I think that would be actually more fun. Right? Maybe a Karibo deck. Check them out, though. Uh, link at the top again, you guys. 
And uh, for this video, I also wanted to add a couple special packs here. We got these recently, and um, we haven't had open much Pokemon uh, lately on the channel, like at all. So I felt like bring it back a little bit. Let's open up some Hidden Fates every now and then. And so I wanted to start with this video today. Now that we opened up the giant Karibo pack, let's just see if we can pull the shiny Pokemon from Hidden Fates. And if you guys don't know about Hidden Fates, it's officially pretty much the most popular Pokemon set ever made. Um, you know, maybe not some of those Wizards of, the, Wizards of the Coast classic sets, but just still, this set is crazy. Inside is a whole bunch of uh, popular cards reprinted, especially classic cards, uh, reprinted or made anew um, in the new actual set. But there's inside, there's a subset called the Shiny Set. I don't know the exact uh, name of it, but exactly. This set has all shiny monsters, and it's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. It has black Charizard. It's worth like three to four hundred dollars. And uh, I think it's one out of ten packs is a shiny pack or has a shiny monster inside. So I'm just like, here's ten packs. Let's see if we can uh, make something crazy happen. I think pack value is about five dollars each, by the way. Pokemon, Hidden Fates. Here we go. First pack. And I believe, we'll take a look at the first pack here to see if we understand exactly what we need to do. I think we have to do one, two, three, four. And we'll go to the front and then we guess the energy. Dark. <laughs> All right, got Charmeleon, Jinx, Graveler, Ekans. Man, look at these, see? Classic cards, Hidden Fates. Eevee, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff. Oh, we did get a shiny from the first and Wow, what the heck? Shiny Perlia, okay. So you can see there, it's uh, subset number 35, Shiny Vault. That's what it is, see? So we just needed to pull a shiny in order to know what it was. Shiny Vault, number 35 out of 94, and this is a Shiny Curlia. And what's funny, guys, is this is probably one of my most used Shiny Pokemon. I would go for the Shiny Ralts every time I played Emerald because Shiny Ralts is freaking awesome. And uh, I like the Gardevoir as well. But yeah, Curlia, she, she's all right. But still, really cool to pull the blue-haired Curlia. Shiny monster from the first pack. That's pretty crazy. Like I said, guys, it's about one out of 10 to pull a shiny. Uh, or to pull a card from the shiny subset. And then we did pull a GX Tag Team Moltres Articu Articuno and Zapdos, which is one of the most valuable cards in the normal set, which is only 68 cards. The subset, or Shiny Vault, is bigger set than the actual set itself in face. That's crazy. Okay. That's pretty cool that we pulled a card. That's really cool. That's, I like that. The guy's on the pack. All right. Well, first pack was absolute bonkers. Let's just see if we can keep it up. Pokemon. So it, so it is four from the back. So I'm glad we, uh, we learned that today. Okay. So one, two, three, and four. Lightning. All right. Try Magmar, Scyther. Man. So this is truly just a whole bunch of classic cards. This might just be my favorite set ever then. Charmander. Psyduck. Wow. Again. Here we go. Star you. And oh baby, a shiny Kurik Zicker tree. Okay. <laughs> what from the shiny vault? Two shinies out of two packs. Let's go, Pokemon. Um, we'll have the pack value on the screen or the value of the card on the screen. So this is number 58 of 94 in the shiny vault. Um, the best ratio for a shiny, guys, is it's like one out of six packs is the best I've ever seen. But one out of 10, I think, is what I've been told. Um, but we just pulled two shiny cards in a row. So uh, that's like pulling two, not secret rares in Yu-Gi-Oh, but ultra rares in a row. So that's that's pretty cool. Blaine's last dude, I haven't seen Blaine in a while, man. Blaine's the man. All right, what? Two shinies, guys, that could have been a, <laughs> guys, that could have been a black Charizard. I just want to throw that out there. That could have been it. That is a GX shiny. Zerk tree, flashing head and rumbling wires with lightning GX. Reveals their hand, add a card you, right, wow, well, what? Add a card you find there to their prize face down. That's crazy. Okay. Here we go. Hidden Fates. This is this is truly incredible. My new favorite set. Do you just get foil cards every time? <laughs> All right. Oh, I didn't guess. Fairy. Oh, Missy's bouncing a bow wow. <laughs> what is happening in that picture? All right. Brock's Gym. Cubo. Giovanni. Yo, the classics. Voltorb. Geodude. Eevee. Clefairy. Magic card. Okay. All right. Magic card. <laughs> Magic card. Cool. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. This is Hidden Fates, you guys. I, I promise you guys, the odds of getting another shiny is not very good, but we're just going to make it happen because we just have the best packs ever right now. Okay, one, two, three, four. Psychic. <sighs> Sabrina's suggestion. There we go. Misty. Bounce. Bounce. 
<laughs> Metapod, Ekans, Paris. Man, the shininess in this pack. Charmander, Clefairy, Ekans again. Giarados, GX. Oh, baby, there we go. Dragon Rage and Hyper Beam. Crazy. And this again is actually from the set number 16 of 68. Wow, that is cool. Giarados. All right, five more packs. I like how Pokemon's trying to take over our giant Karibo pack. Still over there. They're, they're, watch, they're keeping, keeping watch over us here. Okay. One, two, three, four. Gotta get one right. Fire. Oh my God. Scyther. Brock again, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Paris. Giovanni and Jolteon, nice. Electromagnetic Wall and Thunderbolt. Cool. All right. Hidden Fates, you guys. Can we find the hidden shiny monsters inside? Psychic again. Oh, dude, I, seriously? Okay. Misty's Gym. Brock's Grid again. Eevee, Clefairy, Psyduck. Ekans, Starmie GX. Okay, how easy is it to get GX cards out of this? Because from what I remember, opening Pokemon packs, GXs are like best one out of four to six packs. But we just pulled three out of five. I don't even know. Yeah, I, yeah. as the cameraman just went like, what's happening? I don't know what's happening. This seems pretty godly to me. But I'm guessing GXs are a little easier to get out of Hidden Fates. I'm, I'm guessing. Okay. Two shiny so far and a shiny GX, though. That's... Pretty nuts. Let's see if we can keep up the ridiculousness, the godliness. Lightning! Oh my gosh. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay. Scyther. Against Voltorb, you dude. Scyther again, and a wheezing this time is a rare. Awesome. Three more packs left. I don't think we'll get another shiny, but we're just gonna, just gonna believe. If we believe, we can make it happen here. I forgot we can, we can do that. All right. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh my God. I was gonna say water. Chetsy! All right, Jigglypuff, start you. <laughs> Eevee and ooh, ooh, I like foil energies, darkness energy. Bill, hey, Bill, 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 Bill. Okay. Two more packs, you guys. Let's do this right here, right now. This is where we're gonna find some epic card inside. Boom, upside down. <laughs> okay. Can we get one right? I feel like I'll keep saying lightning that's cheating. Let's switch it up. You know, for the third time in a row. Metal! Psychic. <laughs> okay. Sabrina's suggestion. I can't do it, Sabrina. I'm sorry. Caterpie Atkins. Oh, another shiny Guzzlord this time. Oh, baby. Yo, Ultra Beast. Lord's Valley, if you have 2.4, no, if you have two, four, six prize cards remaining, discard the top 10 cards of your deck. 160 damage, yo. Holy crap. Look at this guy, number 26 out of 94 in the shiny vault. And, oh, Mr. Mine with hearts. Happy Mine. But man, that Guzzlord, look at that. And a Curlia. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Three shinies. No way is it one in three packs or four packs. No way. It's at least one in six or something. This is crazy, guys. Okay, here we go. We got Guzzlord, Curlia, a Zer Zerkatry. <laughs> Last pack of Destiny. I know this doesn't involve you, Kaiba, but... Kaiba! Okay, here we go. Watch out. Okay. Okay. This is our last chance to get the energy right. What do you think? Water. Fire? Okay. Fire! Oh my god, it's lightning! No! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Far-fetched. Yeah, that was a bit far-fetched. Cubone, Geodude, Eevee. Oh, another shiny! So I blew in the house! Oh my god! Oh, with Electro, that's a good picture. Bro. Wow! Three, four shinies, one of them being a Zerk Tree. Um, GX, what the heck? Still my favorite's gonna have to be that Curlia, though. Guzzler looks sweet. Uh, Swablu looking awesome. This is nutso. Can we open Hidden Fates more often? You guys let me know in the comments below. You guys, we just throw some Hidden, pa Hidden Fates packs in every now and then because that's, that's got to be just my favorite set ever now. This is crazy. Subset of Shinies. If you guys know the actual ratio, if it's one in five packs, let us know in the comments below. I'm pretty sure I was told it was one in ten. Maybe it's one in ten for the GX. I don't know. But overall, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the Kariba pack. If you want to show them that, that was what this video is actually about. <laughs> Not the ridiculous amount of shiny Pokemon. Uh, one in 9,000 chance. 
Uh, but yeah, you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think about Konami's giant Karibo pack in the comments below. And simply unlucky signing in.